Hello traders, I am Stephen Davis, Senior Market Strategist, <clears throat> RJO Futures, here to talk to you about the grain markets. It's Friday morning. We'll start with the corn market. Okay, Wednesday we had a five cent rally in corn. So that's the biggest rally in two months that we've had here in, in the CBOT corn market. So that's impressive. You want to see some follow through on that and we're higher here today. So we'll kind of see where we close the week. There's not a lot of new news uh, in these corn market and the grain market. So export sales really important this week. You got a stellar corn export sale report this morning from the USDA. That's good to see and we want to see that continue. Uh, demand is so important. We've got a lot of corn to sell. U.S. farmers very good at growing corn through the years here and we've had back to back to back record yield productions here so a lot of corn to sell and um, we'll see the demand is important you're starting to hear chatter a lot of talk about uh, eth uh, ethanol corn ethanol exports to Brazil uh, each week I mentioned to you that China is going to be buying US corn so corn is such a staple food in the world today we just need to see this demand continue so we're higher here we'll see where we close the week Okay, the soybean market, uh, again, uh, our chart here are soybeans today. You can see three days of higher highs and higher lows, so that's impressive. You want to see this continue. The soybean meal chart, we'll put this in front of you here this morning. Notice how we gapped higher early in the week on March soybean meal. And I don't know what markets are going to do. If I did, I wouldn't be talking to anybody. But be aware of these gaps. Many times markets will come back down and fill the gap and then trade higher. So soybean meal, just real uh, leader here, stout, so closing the wheat strong. We'll see if this continues. Why is a soybean meal rallying? Okay, Friday's January 12th, last Friday's report. More about corn, soybeans, and wheat. Everybody wants to talk about and look at the livestock report from the USDA. The major tonnage of the major livestock, the hogs, the cattle, the poultry, and the turkey, the tonnage is going to grow in 2018. This is real demand sensitive for soybean meal and corn. So this is a good story. We need this component of demand to continue. And the numbers, the way they look, it is going to continue. So. Um, it's dry in Argentina. That helps soybeans rally here. Brazil's in very good support. So that's something that Holden rallies back in soy. Keep in mind all these soybeans, uh, the majority of them pollinate next month in February. So it's important we get normal rainfall uh, at that point. So the wheat market here, wrapping this up, well, a lot of analysts will tell you wheat's uh, can be a bull market. This is a bull market start. You've got a fundamental of very low winter wheat acres. Uh, again, uh, exports this week did not follow corn and beans, so the demand for wheat still kind of a, a tickly point here. There's a lot of wheat in the world today. So the global uh, economies of the world, they look good. That's strong for commodities. And so we've got a good story here, and we'll see how, if it can continue. Everyone have an excellent weekend.